Waddle, great strike by Tungabai Lowen. Pressure coming. Intercepted in the end zone. What's up, Dolph fans? Welcome to Dolphins Today from the Baptist Health Studios here in Miami Gardens. I'm Kimberly Bell, a.k.a. Kimmy B, and we have got a busy week on the way here in Miami and across the NFL as we mark the start of free agency and the new league year. Here's everything you need to know. Now, agents of free agent players were able to begin negotiations with prospective teams yesterday, March 14th at noon Eastern time. However, contracts cannot be executed with a new club until tomorrow, March 16th at 4 p.m. Eastern time. So expect lots of news alerts to start rolling in after 4 p.m. Another important note, teams with new head coaches can begin their off-season workout programs on April 4th, and you know what that means. New head coach Mike McDaniel and his staff will hit the ground running about two weeks before returning coaches across the league can start their workouts. Now, looking further down the road, the 2022 NFL Draft will be in Las Vegas. From April 28th through the 30th, the Dolphins currently hold the 29th overall pick, so it's going to be an exciting few months ahead as plenty of new faces will join the team. Here they come. Book able to get rid of it. It's picked off. Intercepted. Nick Needham into the end zone for the pick six. Now, on Friday, the Dolphins announced they're placing a second-round tender on quarterback Nick Needham. Since joining the Dolphins in 2019, Needham has played in 45 games, totaling 171 tackles, three sacks, and six interceptions. Needham appeared in all 17 games in 2021 and scored his first career touchdown on Monday Night Football en route to a 20-3 win over the New Orleans Saints. The second round tender means that Needham is still free to sign with another team, but that team would have to give the Dolphins their second round draft pick. Learn something new on Dolphins today, every time. We now welcome one of my favorite people, team analyst Travis Wingfield, aka T-Dub, for the final edition of Finn's Focus. We're going to be pivoting to another part of the defense. Today we're discussing the safeties here in Miami, which proved to be a strength on defense throughout the season. Now Javon Holland and Brandon Jones combined for 84 tackles, seven and a half sacks, and three interceptions. Take that in 2021. What did you see that made them so effective? Yeah, that's big time production for a pair of safeties, especially ones that are so young like mm -hmm. Javon and Brandon Jones. Jones are, but their flexibility and versatility stand out above all. Both of those guys are interchangeable in the fact that they can both play in the box, they can play split high, single high safety, they can come down and support the run, their coverage is really good. Mm -hmm. and I think their instincts are what really set them apart from their counterparts across the National Football League, and that comes from preparation. Both these guys love the game, they love to work, they're out here all the time getting an extra work. Now it also helps up front when you have a consistent pass rush, and we see the Dolphins consistently have mm -hmm. that good pass rush, yep. and we'll see what changes, if any, happen in free agency that it brings to this position group here with the Dolphins safeties but it certainly was a fun group of players to watch develop over the course of 2021 and will no doubt be again here in 2022. You know as a football fan I got to tell you I think the safety position might be one of the most underrated positions on defense but when those boys are clicking it can completely change the game and obviously Holland and Jones weren't the only ones making a difference either. Uh, Eric Rowe played a big role as did another veteran Jason McCourty before unfortunately landing on injured reserve. What impact did those veteran players have on the group and their success in 2021? Yeah, you mentioned it. I think a great balance of, of young players and veterans is the best way for a team to really kind of mm -hmm. realize its full potential. I mean, for a defense that calls so many different looks, it's paramount for that communication to be on point, but also for the amount of defensive backs they put yeah. on the field at any one given time you've got to be six seven eight deep in that position group and Miami has been that here both at cornerback and safety and Eric Rowe you mentioned him he's played all 49 possible wow. games the last three years wow. since signing with the Miami Dolphins in 2019 and he's got a bit of a reputation as a tight end eraser he comes down mm -hmm. and really locks those guys up and I go back to week one with Jason McCourty mm -hmm. that pass breakup he had down the field I think it was one of the best plays for the Dolphins all season long so again his leadership and communication were so big even if only for a short period of time yeah, last question. Now, what can the safety group do to improve Travis in 2022? I think this is for the entire team, but the safeties as well. And a couple of young guys out there, like we mentioned with Holland and Jones, but just a faster start to the season. And that can always be improved mm -hmm. from communication and just being in the right position from the word go. Not that they weren't last year, but that'll help a lot this year as well. And, you know, a year of experience should help those guys with things like run fits, passing off coverage and zone or playing man coverage, whatever the case may be. Just another year of seasoning will help them go a long way. I got to tell you, the one consistent thing I think we've hit on every week when we've sat across from each other is that mixture of 
new young talent and veteran experience. Now we've got that on the coaching staff mm -hmm. as well. So I think it's going to be a really exciting 2022 season for the defense, obviously for the offense as well, but definitely looking forward to getting things started. Yeah, I think you keep talking about the countdown like six months <laughs> away. It's, it's too far Facts. out, but we'll get there soon enough. Facts. Travis, we always appreciate your time and effort helping us break down each position group here on Finn's Focus. So thank you. And we can't wait to see what you do next. Thanks for having me. Coming up for agency. I can't wait. And there it is. That's a wrap for Dolphins today from the Baptist Health Studios. Reminder to keep an eye on all Dolphins social media channels for any team updates and breaking news. We'll see you on Friday.